Hi, it's Darren, ADHD Master from Darren Thomas Coaching. Parents, I hope you're doing well. Hey, I just wanted to ask you, as parents of complex kids, do you ever feel that meeting your kids' needs is a full-time job in and of itself? Making sure they're eating properly, taking their meds if you choose that route, that they're clean and clothed, loved and safe, often feeling that you neglect your own mental health and well-being. You may think that making yourself a priority takes away from your child, but by working through your own issues, you can create a more positive time with your family and yourself. Break that cycle of negative self-talk and self-judgment. How, you might ask? One main way is to look at your thoughts and your feelings I used to think that my feelings of frustration, anger, annoyance with my kid were because of her or my students' actions or behaviors. I have come to find that they weren't the actions of them. Those feelings were because of the thoughts I was having about their actions. I assumed that my circumstances created my outcomes or results. I discovered a model that I now use in my life and in coaching parents. If I can change the way I think about a circumstance, I can effectively change my feelings towards it, and as a result, the actions I take and the results I get. We have the power to think whatever we want to think. Becoming aware of your thoughts and actively choosing the thoughts that serve you is what coaching is all about, and a way to take care of you as we come to understand the struggles our unique kids have, we can better show up for them. For example, the situation. My child does not do what I ask when I ask. My thoughts are that she is ignoring me, being disrespectful, or just plain lazy. I feel angry, frustration. The actions I then take are repeating myself and nagging, raising my voice, arguing, grounding or taking away things from her, or possibly just doing it myself. The results are more feelings of anger and frustration and disrespect, damaged relationships with her. Now, what if the same situation, I change my thoughts? I become curious as to why she hasn't done what I've asked. My new thought could be, I know she has difficulty stopping and starting different tasks. I now feel curious as, how can I help her? I want to help her. These feelings lead me to talking with her, having an open discussion about what she thinks her challenges are, and being able to let her know that I understand and I am here wanting to help and work with her, wanting to strengthen these skills with her, resulting in cooperation, strengthening our relationships, teaching skills, and ultimately changing behaviors. Now, don't get me wrong. I know this isn't just a one and done thing. I know it sounds easier than it is. This will take several repeated discussions and patience on our part, but I know it works. I know it is worth the time and the effort. I know you can do it. I am here to help, support, listen, encourage, and celebrate victories with you. I hope this helps. I have a monthly membership that you can join. It's only $25 a month, and you can have access to my webinars and courses that I've present and have recorded. You can join me in monthly office hours to ask me questions. You can get discounts on ADHD parent seven week interactive workshop that I present, or seventh month coaching plan with your kids and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Leave questions and comments below and I will talk to you soon. Be exceptional today.